Tyler Courtney and Jacob Allen in row one. Spencer Basin, Justin Peck, Brent Marks, Parker Price, Miller, Brad Sweet, Rico Abreu, Anthony Macri, and Casey Kane. The first five rows, the top ten starters for this one. Golden Isle Speedway, we got them racked. We got them stacked, and we've got the grandstands packed. Let's go racing off at turn number four. We are green. Into turn number one, Tyler Courtney with the early race lead, but here comes Jacob Allen like we've seen him all night long. Powers around the outside, and Jacob Allen takes the lead into turn number three. Jacob Allen leads lap number one and 24 to go. Justin Peck quickly up to the second spot around the outside of Tyler Courtney. Peck quickly to second. Courtney slips back to third. Then it's Spencer based in and Brent marks the top five. Coming around turns three and four this time by Jacob Allen. Looking strong out front in the Pell's tire service number 1A, but Justin Peck is right there with him. Jacob has found a home right up along the top of the racetrack on the exit at turn number two. Now tries the top in three and four. Jacob Allen searching for grip out front right now. The bottom been the preferred line, I would say, by most of the drivers all night long, but Jacob Allen has got something figured out on the top side. Here's Parker Price Miller and Rico Avery. That's the battle for the sixth spot down the back stretch. Jacob Allen running the top. Looks like Peck closing in just slightly as they work back down the front straightaway. Traffic is going to be the deciding factor in this one as they are already on the same straightaway as the back of the field. Now Allen goes back to the inside off a turn four. Peck tries the top. A back and forth seesaw battle at the front of the field at Golden Isles. Down the back straightaway. Traffic in within the next two laps for your top two drivers. Sunshine still not too far behind back in that third spot. As Allen approaches the back of the field, the first one he will encounter is Cole Macedo. Allen up top, washes up a little bit down the back straightaway. Justin Peck right there as he enter turn three. 18 to go this time by, and Allen stretches the lead out once again. And here comes Tyler Courtney, driving back to the rear bumper of Justin Peck into turn number one. Allen now working on the lap traffic. They're side by side right in front of him. Got to make a big move here. To the outside of Connor Morrell, puts the 28 Emma lap down. Not quite yet. Morrell not going down easy. Down the front straightaway, side by side with the lap car is Jacob Allen. Here comes Justin Peck trying to look to his inside, but Allen's got momentum down the back stretch and he makes it around Connor Morrell. Jacob Allen now back to the inside of the racetrack. I think that was a good move right there to get at back in line on the inside of the racetrack and let the guys behind them try and make their way around the outside of Connor Morrell. And now Tyler Courtney pounces on an opportunity there as Morrell missed the bottom and now they're side by side for second. Tyler Courtney and Justin Peck. Jacob Allen, a little mistake off of turn number four. Here comes Justin Peck back to the rear bumper into turn number one. Allen now makes it by the slower car of Cole Macedo as Macedo is now trying to let these two guys go by. He lets Justin Peck in as well. Allen washes up the racetrack. You might have a new leader off of turn number four. Justin Peck takes the lead. Justin Peck leads on lap number 11, 14 to go. Jacob Allen still right there, as is Tyler Courtney. Three-car battle for the lead at Golden Isles. They all fight for the bottom off of turn number four. Here comes Sunshine. Sunshine gets by Allen. Now to the inside of Peck into turn number one. Peck shuts the door. Now Allen back around the outside. Great battle at the front at Golden Isles. Wow. Jacob Allen back to second. Now to the outside of Justin Peck off of turn four. Halfway single this time by. 12 to go for Justin Peck. Justin Peck trying to be the first Durst Dice Roll winner of the season. Looking for an extra two grand for him and an extra two grand for our buddy Chesley down in the grandstands. Next time by, 10 laps to go, and Peck has to deal with the 17 of Dylan Norris, who is right in his racing right in his racing groove down the back straightaway. Peck's got to make quick work of the 17 cars. They work off the turn number four down the front straightaway. Peck goes to the outside into turn number one. Might be an opening for Jacob Allen into turn number one and two. Peck can't make the move, and now he does down the back straightaway. Great move. That might be the one that seals the deal for the driver out of Monrovia, Indiana. Rico Abreu now coming to call as he looks to the outside of Spencer Baston. That's the race for the fourth position down the front stretch. Jacob Allen not going away easily here as he works back to the outside of Dylan Norris right there with Justin Peck. Allen makes a mistake off of turn number four. Loses a little bit of ground. Now goes back to the outside of the racetrack. This is where we saw him win the heat race earlier on. Drove around the outside of Anthony Macri. And that speed right there off of two might be what he needs. To the outside of Justin Peck. 
You've got to race for the lead down the front straightaway. Good stuff at the front of Golden Isle Speedway. Another lap car up the road. It's Brenham Crouch. Nose to tail down the back stretch for the race lead. Off of turn number four, Jacob Allen on the top. Can't quite get by the 13 of Justin Peck. Next time by, five laps to go for Peck. And Allen's got to run down the back straightaway. Tyler Courtney is there as well. And here comes Rico. Peck misses the bottom. Peck misses the bottom. And Jacob Allen takes the lead down the front straightaway. Jacob Allen back to the race lead into turn number one. Next time by, four to go. And here comes Sunshine. Tyler Courtney looking for the hat trick here tonight to the inside of Peck for second. Tyler Courtney back to fourth, and he's not done yet. Here comes Rico. Rico's right there as well. Allen goes to the top, and that might be what Tyler Courtney's hoping to see as he's got the NOS Energy Drink 7BC pinned to the bottom. Three laps to go for Jacob Allen. Back to the top in turn number two. Tyler Courtney runs the bottom on that side of the racetrack. They both go to the bottom on this side. Rico, the first one to step out of line. Two to go for Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen back to the top. He's selling some t-shirts. Meanwhile, Sunshine trying to pay the tire bill on the bottom. White flag, one lap to go for Jacob Allen. Lap car up the road is Brenham Crouch. He goes to the top side of the racetrack. Here comes Sunshine. Might have one last ditch effort here on the last lap. Jacob, a big move to get by Brenham Crouch. What a move right there from Jacob Allen. And he will win. Deuce is wild at Golden Isles Speedway. Tyler Courtney second, Justin Peck third, Rico Abreu fourth, and fifth will go to the five of Spencer Baston. Your unofficial results in the 25 lap feature. Finishing 10th, the 39M of Anthony Macri. 9th to the 9P of Parker Price Miller. 8th went to the 57 of Kyle Larson. 7th to the 19 of Brent Marks. 6th to the 49 of Brad Sweet. 5th to the 5 of Spencer Baston. 4th to the 24 of Rico Abreu. 3rd to the 13 of Justin Peck. 2nd to the 7BC of Tyler Courtney. And how about it, Brunswick, Georgia? Your winner, driving car number 1A, Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen out of the Pels Tire Service, number 1A. How about it, Brunswick, Georgia, your winner, Jacob Allen. Climbs off the back of the car, and this is a win that this driver needed after last year. Hugs coming in from the crew and the team. There is his dad, Bobby. He will come around the front of the race car and talk to Tony Laporta. Jacob Allen, are you happy? Let's go, baby! <laughs> Jacob Allen, brother, you went up there and you got it from Tyler Courtney. He's won the last two races here with High Limit Racing. There is so much that goes into your story. Last time I saw you, Chase Rodman, you and I were playing basketball, filming a segment with the World of Outlaws. You took some time off from racing. You took stock of what mattered. You and your wife, you changed what you were doing. You're back with High Limit, and you're back in victory lane. Yeah, it feels so amazing. What a, what a badass race between Peck, Courtney, and I. I mean, that was, that was so much fun. feels so good to be back. Uh, took a little break from myself and my team, but, man, it felt like we were uh, – Way, way far away from getting a win, and to come in and win the fourth race of the High Limit season is so awesome. I talked to you today. I've talked to all these drivers. Everybody here at High Limit, they were frustrated. They can't figure out this new racetrack none of us had ever been to before. But you told me, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I'm having fun. You looked like you had a lot of fun out there. That race was phenomenal. You were so good off turn two. What was right about this race car tonight? Uh, I mean, everything. My whole team, Tyler and Cody, my dad, Troy, James. I mean, it's just so such a great effort. I mean, we woke up 8 o'clock this morning. We haven't stopped working. It's just every everything all day long is just about getting better. And, uh, you know, I just told myself before the race I was so nervous. And uh, it's just because just I haven't had an opportunity out of win in a while and uh, I just told myself just breathe and have some fun and just pretend like I was racing at my dad's go-kart track as a kid so it's awesome. I loved it when you told me you were out here having fun. It looks like you're having fun right now. As a high roller, a full-time racer with High Limit Racing, you get to donate $1,000 that a uh, angel donor has committed to the series. Anytime a high roller wins a feature here in 2024, you get to decide where $1,000 of that donor's money goes. Do you have a charity picked out you want to donate to tonight? Yeah, 
the pickup, driven to save lives. I, I'm an organ donor myself, and uh, just a, a great cause, and, and it supports racing as well. So overall, I think that's a, a great place for that money to go, and, and proud of, and, and grateful to do that. Well, if you don't know his story, folks, you need to learn a lot more about Jacob Allen. He's back racing full time. He's back in victory lane, brother. Congratulations. Thank you, and I just want to say thank you to RF Knox, uh, Troy, and James, and his fa their families here tonight. Mark Pell, Michael Newman for you know having such badass motors, Triple X, uh, the Auto Barn. Factory King Shocks, Triple X Chassis, DMI, Smith Titanium, uh, everybody involved with this whole deal. Uh, thank you so much, and it feels so good to be back. Ladies and gentlemen, he can hear you. Make some noise for your winner, Jacob Allen! That race behind him, heck, that race around him was great. All race long, it seemed like, especially past the halfway point. Tyler Courtney, you've got a smile on your face, considering you're not in victory lane for the first time in three races here with High Limit. Some would think you don't have a lot to smile about, but that race looked like a lot of fun. Uh, that's what I mean. That was a great race. I mean, even, um, you know, given what, what kind of took place with the track there, I think it still ended up being a pretty damn badass race. I mean, three guys racing for the lead. I don't think you really asked much more than that. So uh, hats off to Jacob and their whole team. Pretty cool to, to see him win and uh, uh, kind of, you know, going off something different that he's done the past few years. So hats off to them and their whole team. And uh, hats off to Justin. I, I've raced with Justin a lot the last couple of years, and uh, we're, we're right back to doing it again. So, um, yeah, our Nostrum and Drink, uh, Ladies Custom Trailers car has been beyond a rail this whole trip, uh, Florida, Georgia. Um, obviously, it would have been nice to, to pick up tonight, but, uh, you know, overall is a, a really, really great weekend for us. And, uh, yeah, it sucks we kind of got to take a month off when you're, when you're kind of rolling like this. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go home and regroup and uh, get ready for uh, – Oh, it's Riverside's next. We got a month off. We'll see you there. Dean Mills reminded me that over the offseason, Tyler Courtney switched engine manufacturers and chassis, and they come right out of the box and score two wins here in 2024 in the first four races. Justin Peck, the driver from Monrovia, Indiana, runs third. You were our Durst dice roller. You didn't come home with that extra $2,000, but you put a lot of smiles on people's faces. All three of you did. That looked like an intense battle on the track. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's just unfortunate. We had a we had a really good race car um, through the slick, and uh, you know it just it, it was taking rubber you know pretty violently there in three and four, and um, you know I was having to slow down quite a bit to try and hold it down in three and four, especially and um, you know Jacob I saw his nose on the outside of me on entry, um, and I, now I knew he probably didn't stick the rubber there, but just because I was down there, but I, in my mind I thought maybe if uh, if I open my entry up a little bit getting in three, I'll be able to carry more momentum and not have to feel like I'm stopping in three and four and um, tried it and just just missed the rubber so you know it's a, it's really unfortunate for uh you know this whole coast race parts in avani uh, water treatment by designs big spring car wash uh you know gen more Flores, speed toys uh you know number 13 it's just you know it's things pr pretty fast and um you know it's it's good when you're disappointed with a third place finish but uh you know the car had to speed to win and uh, just didn't get a job done Considering you started the season off with a DNF in Tampa, Florida, a third place finish is something good to be disappointed about. Justin Peck runs third in the Book Motorsports number 13. Sunshine Tyler Courtney runs second after winning here on Thursday night. And Chase, your winner is an elated Jacob Allen. I'm guessing that uh, we made some sprint car fans here tonight in Georgia. Wanted to mention the Jake's Golf Cart's fastest lap of the race went to Justin Peck at a 14.414, just barely over the lap time set by Jacob Allen at a 14.427. So Jake's Golf Cart's fastest lap going to Justin Peck. What a great race that was here at Golden Isles Speedway. A couple of different leaders and a racetrack where I felt like the drivers really did not know where to go. Twenty-five laps took place, twenty thousand dollars going to Jacob Allen. 8,000 to Tyler Courtney for second and 5,500 for Justin Peck in third. And this is where things started to get interesting right here, right through the lap traffic. We knew that that was going to be a big deciding factor in this race here tonight as most of the cars were around the bottom. And so if you had to get by him, you had to go around the top. There's Peck taking the lead after running third for a lot of that race. And then Jacob Allen around the outside found a line that really no one else was able to make work. Hit the bottom real nice right there, got in the grip and Went right by the 13 at Justin Peck, and then Tyler Courtney got involved as well. Late in the race, Rico Avery was a part of it as well, but here's Jacob Allen after that crazy move on Brenham Crouch. is going to secure it. He gets the job done for a $20,000 score 
here at Deuce's Wild. Climbed up top in the confetti, a place he hadn't been in a long time, but it's great to see him back in Whiskey Myers' victory lane.